Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something about Ninjago Crystallize that may be possible, though admittedly it's not very likely. That of course being the big reveal that the Crystal King himself is not the Overlord, but somebody else entirely. Maybe even a returning villain that Ninjago fans have been wanting to see come back for years now. So in terms of today's video, like I said, the event of the Crystal King not being the Overlord, it is possible, but it's not very likely. There's obviously a lot of things pointing towards the Crystal King's true identity being the Overlord, and admittedly, Ninjago has not done the best at keeping his identity a secret. From the Crystal King looking very similar to the Overlord, to the actual Overlord symbol being used on the Crystal Council, and of course the Overlord's name being used in the trailer itself, it seems more than likely that the Crystal King is in fact the Overlord, and many Ninjago fans have accepted that. However, I can't really deny the possibility of this entire thing being one huge misdirect. Maybe the Crystal King is not the Overlord himself, but a different Ninjago villain, back again for revenge in the modern day. You may be wondering then, who exactly could the Crystal King be if he's not the Overlord? Well, in the unlikely event that the Crystal King is not the Overlord, I'm thinking maybe Nauticon. I mean, why not, right? Nauticon and the Crystal King have some similarities. The obvious being both of them having four arms, but also the Teapot of Tyron, what Nauticon was actually housed and trapped in, that's been showing up quite a bit in the background of recent Ninjago seasons. So obviously it seems like Ninjago is setting up for some type of big Nauticon return, unless the Teapot of Tyron is simply just an Easter egg that keeps on reoccurring, that could always be the case as well. The only reason why I would love to see Nauticon return in this season specifically is because next year Ninjago is starting a new series. It's not going to be a reboot, it'll be a continuation, but still the start of a new series nonetheless. It makes a lot of sense to me for Ninjago to wrap up all of their loose ends before moving on to a new series, but then again, maybe the teapot was simply appearing just to set up Nauticon as the villain for this new series, which could always be the case. Or like I said earlier, it could just be a recurring Easter egg. But imagine that for a second. Imagine if the Crystal King reveals himself to be Nauticon Nauticon, that would certainly be one of Ninjago's biggest plot twists. And with how obvious Ninjago has been about the Overlord being the Crystal King, it almost seems a little bit too obvious, like this is one giant misdirect. But of course, secret identities in Ninjago's past have not really been super subtle either. For example, Samurai X, everybody knew that it was Nia before the show actually revealed it. Same deal with Lloyd being the Green Ninja, and also the same thing with Pythor being the Stranger in Rebooted. And I suppose you could argue even Harumi being the Quiet One. So while this could be one giant misdirect simply meant to throw off Ninjago, Jaga fans from uncovering the truth, it isn't very likely at the end of the day. So with that being said guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my video here today. Kind of a short and casual video today, but I just wanted to ask you guys a pretty straightforward question. If by some miracle the Crystal King is not revealed to be the Overlord, and instead is some other character, what character would you like that to be? And how would you feel if all of the signs pointing towards the Crystal King being the Overlord was just some type of massive misdirect? I think Ninjago could pull it off, but then again, maybe that's just me giving the Ninjago series way too much credit. But of course, feel free to leave all your thoughts down below. As I've said, that'll wrap it up from my thoughts here today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Peace.